$120 for a Stream Deck is pretty expensive nowadays, especially when you can use a Streamlabs controller, which is free that you can download on either your Android, iOS, or tablet and use for free. And it does probably what you're looking for it to do. Switch scenes, control your audio, read your chat. Yeah, stream this app I'm gonna show y'all. And also you can have your app, you can have your chat up on it. Can't do that with a stream deck, can you? All right, so let me stop talking about it. Let me show you exactly what it is, how to install it, how to use it, and then, yeah, we'll wrap it up. Let's get into it. All right, first thing first is you're gonna need to go to either a tablet or your phone or whatever you were using this on. You can go to your app store, whatever you're using it on, and you're simply gonna type in Stream Labs Controller. Pops up, and this is what it's gonna look like. You can see it on the screen, hooked y'all up. That's why I put it right here. Anyways, you're gonna hit download. I've already got it downloaded, of course, therefore I don't need to download it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit, you know, download it, and once you do that, you're gonna hit open. All right, guys, from here, go ahead and open your Streamlabs on your desktop. It's gonna make it easier. I got it open here for you to see, and I have the, the tablet here on the screen so you can see it too. First thing you're gonna do is log into your Twitch account or YouTube or whatever you're using, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna use, put my uh, username, which is the Pew. If you get a chance, go by. Link is in the description below. My password is none of y'all's business. If you have two-step verification, you're gonna get a code sent to your phone, right on cue. Go ahead and put that token in. Go ahead and authorize all this. You're giving away your life, pretty much. All right, guys, once you log in, you're gonna get a screen like this. I'm using a tablet. This is why you see it so big and stuff on here. Your phone, it's gonna look pretty much the same, just a little bit smaller. First thing you wanna do is turn in dark mode. I already have it on, but turn it on. It looks better, especially while you stream. You're gonna have this bright light on your face. You're gonna come down here to remote. All right, guys, once you click on that, you're gonna have the camera pop up on here. What you need to do is come down here to the bottom left where the little gear icon is, hit settings, and you're gonna come down here and hit remote control. When you kick that, this is gonna pop up. I will click it to reveal it, but then y'all will get my stream key. This is a stream key. Do not share this with anybody. Don't share this screen with anybody. Anybody who gets this can have access to your stream and stream under your name. That could be very bad. All you would do is click on this and then go ahead and do that. And I'll show you what happens. I'm gonna click on it right now to show y'all. Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Once you scan your QR code, you immediately are gonna be met with a page like this. So from here, you can see I have a lot, I'll flip it sideways for you guys so you can see, I have a lot of different things in here, different things going on and everything. I don't want hardly any of this stuff in here. This is absolutely just way too much. So what we're gonna do is come up here to config. And then from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna minus all, okay? You wanna have config in there, doesn't matter when you add it, just make sure you add it back, that way you can get the screen easier when you go to redo your stuff. But you wanna have go live on there, you wanna have start record on there, maybe save a replay. You wanna have some scenes on there, sure. You wanna have uh, audio on there, 100%. And then you wanna have config on there. Now collection is gonna be your collections if you have different setups and stuff. I recommend not putting that on there. You can always go in. It, it, this will switch over for you when you switch over to a new uh, collection or something like that. You're not going to do that midstream anyways because that'll mess your stream up. And then sources, I don't. You don't need all that in there as well. You're literally just wanting to switch between scenes and stuff. So when you do that, you'll hit save. When you hit save, you'll back out. And now you can see I have everything set up for the stream. Now this is what your stream deck would look like for you new people out there. You would probably set it up to look something like this. You'd have your, all your channels right here where you can go, for example, stream starting. If I hit stream starting, what it's gonna do is immediately pop up on my screen as stream starting. I mean, it's pretty much legit. I hit full screen, that's my full screen cam as you can see here. If I hit live, it's gonna come back here. This is pretty good, okay? Now, other things you can do with this app is simple. You can hit, the, say you wanna control your audio. There's two ways you can do this. You can either, you see all my list of things over here to my left, music, mic, look at music, okay? If I click music on the tablet itself, what will happen is it's muted. You can see the little 
thing right here muted without me touching it. And if I touch it again, it unmutes. It's pretty much instantaneous. Now, if I want to control the volume from here, all I do is hold down on it. It will pop up and then you have a little graph thing you can slide or slide down. Now, this is a little bit more of a delay on it. So, you know, just be keep that in mind. But there you go. You can do that. Other things you can do with this also is pretty cool is if you want to read your chat from here, no problem. Click on chat. The bottom you see you got settings, events, remote chat. You will say YouTube or Twitch, whatever you're streaming on. And then boom, there you go. I'm not streaming right now, so it's not going to come up. But if it was to come up, I would have my chat right here. I can read it. I can have it above my desk. I can have it to my left down here at the bottom, wherever I want it. Now, the other things on here is ultra. Don't worry about that themes. You don't have to worry about that because you'll have to join ultra to do it. Pick one of the videos over here that you haven't seen yet that YouTube's recommended for you guys. Make sure you like the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace and love.